welcome. Today I'm gonna paint this boring gray wall and make it into something much more exciting. I want it to kind of feel like when I'm on my little adventures in my van, the kind of scenes that I see there. Yeah. So I started painting the sunset earlier today and then I realized I hated it. So I went over the whole thing with this greenish blue color because I have a new idea. The next day. I just don't like how it's coming out and I'm thinking about At this point I had to take a break from the mural and paint the rest of the room so that I didn't end up burning the entire house down I probably should retitle this video the struggles of an artist because if this as a whole doesn't sum up the art process I don't know what does day 27 actually I don't know what day it is but um I'm starting over Okay, let me explain. I have a new idea. It's a lot simpler, involves less blending. I don't know. I don't have the patience to blend. I can't do it anymore. I'm going to kill somebody. So, I have a new idea. We're gonna do like layers of mountains in solid colors. from our sponsors. A lot of times when I'm painting, my eyes dry out from my contacts and I have to switch to wearing my glasses, which leads us to today's sponsor, Pear Eyewear. Pear Eyewear is a really affordable and fun way to wear glasses, especially if you're someone like me who gets bored super easily. With Pear Eyewear, you do a virtual try-on and choose a base frame for your glasses, and then you can choose whatever magnetic top frames you like. I love it because you can change how your glasses look every day depending on your mood. You can match them with your outfit, and it's so much easier easier and cheaper than having to go all the way to the store and try on glasses and all that. With Pear Eyewear, you can pick and order these right from your computer. Their customer service is great, and with every pair you buy, they donate a pair to a child in need, which I think is really cool. So, if you're interested, click the link in the description for 15% off your first pair, and thank you again, Pear Eyewear, for sponsoring today's video. Alright, this is the progress I made last night. Cool. I'm so tired of painting. stuff which is furniture and things <laughs> look at these ferns and leaves and stuff on them and they're so soft this rug used to be in the living room but it was getting too dirty with the dogs coming in and out so I've decided to move it into here I need 
created a home for my stuffed animals. No, not yours. Munchkin's looking at me like toys. They work glorious. Look at how cute that is. How cozy is that? I got a bunch of gold frames for these like national park posters that I thought were cute. The art on them is like very simple, kind of like in the style that I did the mural. So I thought these would complement that really nicely. So I'm thinking, I'm trying to decide which wall they would look good on. My other grand idea is lining the edge of the ceiling with these lights. I was able to wrap the lights around twice because that's how long they were. Are these hexagons? These are the little mirrors that I have on my van wall and I really want to put some of them in here because I like them. This room would not be complete without a fake fish tank. Look at this. This is gonna look good or not. We're trying it anyway. Okay, I like that. Now I'll move this over just a little. I think we got it. I like that. I think I'm gonna add some fake vines around my mirror. I have it on my mirror out there and I think it looks really cute. So we're gonna do more fake vines. I was thinking no, just kidding. I wasn't. I want more leaves. That's good. I feel like it adds a little more balance to this wall because there's like that thing over there so now there's that thing over there I don't know I I just like it I think the room is finally done we did it <laughs> I've been working on this for so long, <laughs> especially the mural. That took way too long. And then I went with the most simple thing ever, of course. But I like how it came out, so it's fine. I wanted this room to be very like naturey, adventurey, but also really cozy. And I feel like I definitely achieved that from like the coziness of the fluffy rug and the bed and adding in the national park posters and the mural with the mountains and the vines and the plants and things that make it feel a little bit more like I'm camping in the woods. Well, kind of. <laughs> it's got a vibe. I don't know what it is, but I like it. Everything in this room invokes some sort of feeling. So there's like the national park signs kind of remind me of like all the places I've been. The lights around the edge remind me of camping in my van because those are the lights that I used to use. The poster with pictures of my mom and the letter she wrote me before she died is over there. If I ever feel like crying, I can read that. Then in that corner with the fish tank, when I was little, me and my sisters definitely definitely had one of those. I very vaguely remember it. They got this exact fish tank recently for their apartment and when I saw it I was like I need to get one of those too. And it's the most relaxing thing to fall asleep to at night. And then of course my stuffed animals on the hammock in the corner. I've always loved stuffed animals. I know some people make fun of me and say I'm childish but they all come from people that I love or places that I love and they all kind of mean something to me. Then we've got the Alex Gray poster, the mirrors that 
I think just look kind of trippy. On each side of the bed, we've got these coconut lamps. The base of them just looks like coconuts. I thought they were kind of cute. And then the duvet, duvet, duvet? I think it's duvet. The duvet cover with the leaves, the ferns on it. I like nature -y stuff. And then I've got some plants, some real plants in the corner. I really like the vines that I put on the window. Oh, and then this, this little throw blanket on my bed. Do you recognize this face? I got this for Christmas. It's got a bunch of little munchkin faces on it. It's actually his face. It was made from pictures of him. He's on a blanket. He's a star. Stumps, what do you think about our new room? Munchkin, what do you think about our new room? <laughs> yeah? You really think so? Oh, he's nuts. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. Yeah? Everyone say, we love our new bedroom. No, don't eat his ear. Yay! Yay! You stink. You smell like you eat cat poop for breakfast. All right, let's say bye. Say bye. <laughs> no, we're saying bye to the camera.